There was a time just a few years ago when it seemed like no one can touch the Golden State Warriors. They were winning games and championships one after another 2015, 2017, 2018 those were the years that the dubs took it all home, dominated the league, and won their rings. But even during the years, they weren't beating their rivals in the finals. The Warriors were always on fire. Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, and of course Kevin Durant. These were just a few of the major names that were leading the Warriors into a brand new era of pure dominance. They were a franchise to be reckoned, with a legacy to fear. They were shattering all sorts of record low three-pointers in a season most three-pointers made in a single game most wins in a single season and many more hey before we get to the video if you haven't already subscribed to our trade hoops channel then please subscribe to it so that you can get all the latest notification of our videos so let's start with today's video the warriors weren't just hot they were red hot it all started back in the 2009 nba draft it was then that the word selected a rookie at a davidson college one who had forever changed their franchise and the entire way the nba worked young stephen curry was chosen as the seventh overall pick pick in the draft. The kids and a former NBA player Del Curry showed a lot of promise, but some considered him to be too inexperienced, too young to small, and not a great fit for the way the NBA was working at the time. But the Warriors believed in him and added him to the roster. The problem was he was playing with a lineup that lacked any competitive edge. Injuries and mistakes plagued the Warriors and Curry's first season, and the team ended up with a record of 2,656 failing to even make the playoffs. However, there was a bright spot in those dark days Curry finished second for NBA a Rookie of the Year, which just showed how much potential the young shooter had. The next season wasn't a whole lot better than the one before with the Warriors only securing 36 wins and once again missing the playoffs. Curry was already starting to show more and more progress and received the NBA Sportsmanship Award in his second year. And something curious was happening beyond the art to the team broke a franchise record with 21 made three-pointers in a game against the Magic. Suddenly Golden State was a team that was becoming terrifying from the three-point line. That was a development that was soon completely reshaped the way the team worked. The top brass the Warriors something needed to make changes and build around Curry if they had any chance of success so they can their coach and hire an NBA vet Mark Jackson to lead the team. They also went into the 2011 NBA draft looking for someone to complement Curry's playstyle. Now you could say they were looking for a brother to Steph and that is exactly what they found. The 11th pick of the 2011 NBA draft was Clay Thompson, a young shooting guard who is fast, smart and able to sink nearly impossible three-pointers. He was a great complement to Curry and the team selection of him showed how much they believed in the playstyle that Steph was showing up. Now the team had to label shooters in a league that wasn't quite ready for that. Still, success was slow going. The team didn't improve much the next season. But when the 2012 offseason came around, major acquisitions pushed the team forward in some major way. Suddenly Curry and Thompson were joined by Andrew Bogut David Lee Harrison Barnes and small forward Draymond Green designed Curry to a four-year $44 million contract extension. And just like that, the fate of the Warriors changed. The team started in 2012-2013 season with this best start in decades, earning 20 wins in less than 30 games. For the first time since 1992, things were really coming together and they ended season 6 in the Western Conference, which was a far far cry from where they were just one season before. The next few seasons flew by and the Warriors only got better. Curry and Thompson led the team to new heights and countless people said that a team was the most fun and impressive to watch in the entire NBA. When coach Mark Jackson was replaced by Chicago Bulls great Steve Kerr, things only got better. Curry was shooting threes as his life depended on it. Thompson was on the court like a silent assassin. Draymond Green was down low in the post making other teams feel miserable. Everything was working better than it had in years. They had reached the NBA Finals for the first time since 1975 and took on LeBron James and his monsters Cleveland Cavaliers things looked rookie at first with the Warriors going down to 2-1 but the team turned it around and they ended up securing the championship. It seemed like a dynasty was born. That dynasty only got stronger over the next few years. The Warriors would appear in the finals multiple more times, facing off against the Cavs for three consecutive finals. Curry broke his own record for the most three-pointers made in a single season with a jaw-dropping 286 the Splash Brothers put up a massive 525 three-pointers in a single season, the most by any duo in history. The team was on fire more than ever before, and things only got better when they added NBA powerhouse Kevin Durant, who had grown tired of playing for the Oklahoma City Thunder and was looking for a ring. He got that ring when the Warriors won their second and third modern NBA Finals in 2017 and 2018. There was really no style in the Warriors, so what the heck happened? They haven't appeared in the playoffs for two years now and look like a shadow of their former selves. Yes, they lost Kevin Durant to the Nets and yes, Curry and Thompson have dealt with some serious injuries. But what can be done to restore them to their former glory? There is still a lot of talent on the Warriors, but some major changes need to be made if they want to become a dynasty again. It is time for a rebuild on the Warriors and major ones. Now when the Warriors rebuild their roster they need to focus on what they do best and double down on it. And what
What the Warriors do best is shoot they were once the biggest threat from beyond the three-point line and they need to get that way again. Healthy Steph Curry and Klay Thompson will help but who else can give a major assist in sinking threes? None other than Portland Trailblazers legend Damian Lillard. Now Lillard has been unhappy in Portland for a while and no one can blame him. The team just doesn't have what it takes to secure him win a championship. But the Warriors do. The Warriors landed Lillard. They would once again become the most fearsome shooting team in the NBA and be nearly impossible to guard against deep. Now, some would argue that Lillard joining the team and I helped him out defensively and we put too much emphasis on fast, smaller players then that may be true but there is no doubt the Warriors would leap at the chance to sign Lillard. Lillard and Curry could share the in two spots Thompson could move to the three and the rest of the team would fall in line. More work would need to be done, a few big men would need to be added but make no mistake the Warriors would have to ship out pretty much every player not named Curry or Thompson. But with Damian Lillard there would be a few lineups more frightening than the Warriors. The Warriors are looking to improve their defensive skills, they have options in a massive rebuild process. Their best bet would be with Toronto Raptors. Star Pascal Siakam, he has a 6 foot 9 power forward with a ridiculous wingspan of 7 feet 3 inches, he would add the size of the Warriors something that they painfully need. He has also proven his abilities in Toronto again and again, he was putting up 7 rebounds, 5 assists and 21 points last season, showing just how competitive and impressive he can be. He's a smart player too and can make some brilliant plays, even when being swarmed in the paint. Just imagine him attracting so much defense and then kicking the ball to Courier Thompson, who would then be waiting to sink one other signature 3, or maybe the loops and picking roles can help create to come to the Warriors would radically change how they play for the better. Plus, he would be cheaper than Lillard or some of the other bigger names in the league. If the Warriors want to rebuild their team and try something new and unique, they need to land pass golf. Now, what if the Warriors want to go differently with a different stop? Why not pull from the Portland Trailblazers again inside their center Joseph Nurkic like Lillard Nurkic isn't happy with the lack of progress in Portland and would gladly sign a deal that takes himself to the Bay Area. The Bosnian Bees would fit right into Steve Kerr's system and would play well with the others and would immediately add a lot of height and strength to the Warriors roster. Again, he'd also be far cheaper than many alternatives. There's also the chance to dubs again getting their kids and a few other powerful players to offer the price of one major all-star. So what you guys think of trade, let me know in the comments section. Of course, if you want to talk about blockbuster training for the Warriors, to completely change things up, you have to mention Ben Simmons. Yes, the troubled Philadelphia 76 or star is looking for a new home. There is little to no chance that he stays in Philly so it's only a matter of when not if he leaves and more than a few people think he should head west to the Warriors rumor has it that he wants to play for a California team so why not play for one of the best Simmons on the Warriors would solve a lot of Golden State's problems for all his troubleshooting and playmaking Simmons is still a defensive powerhouse. He can be an absolute unit down in the pain and the Warriors can always be better defensively. Like many other squads in the league, the Warriors need their own very big three and Simmons would be a part of that. The team would be led by Curry Thompson and Simmons and they would create a trifecta that would send shivers down the spines of their opponents. Plus, there is a good chance that Simmons would perform better than he has and he would be on a team that wants him and makes him feel respected and important. I reinvigorated Ben Simmons playing at his full potential you have to admit that does sound scary. The Warriors have some choices moving forward but one thing is abundantly clear. They need to shake things up. They can't just keep moving the way that they have been because it's not enough. They need to rebuild and they need one soon. Thankfully, a few promising options are waiting for them. And now we just have to see which direction they take so that they can once again become the most dominant team in the league. So what do you think? Should the Warriors and for Lillard you come should they risk it all on Ben Simmons? To stay up to date with my latest videos and latest NBA news, make sure to subscribe to the Trade Hoops YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button. If you like watching our video then please don't forget to like and share and obviously subscribe. Thank you for watching.